Well, I've done enough reviews and showed you enough things about this clamp shelter that you know I like it. This is not a review. But right now, there's something about this clamp shelter that I don't like at all. When we were camped down just north of Quartzsite, Arizona this past month, we just got home a few days ago, but it rained like heck for a period of about three days. And this clamp shelter had a bunch of water flowing through it. The thing about that water was, and that mud, is it made this clamp shelter stink the bottom of it. I mean, think about it. We we're in a campsite, uh, not, not a campsite. We were camped in the desert, but an area where a lot of people camped. And we knew that there was a storm coming, coming so we camped in the shelter of some trees, thick trees and bushes. Well, it turns out it's probably a very popular place for people to camp because that mud made the bottom of this tent smell like, smell like stale urine. I kid you not. I didn't even want to handle this thing just now to put it up. It stinks. So today I'm going to clean it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Well, when they offered to send this to me, I knew I was going to be using it. I just didn't know I was going to be using it for something so important so soon. So we're going to see how this works out. Uh, this is a Sun Life cordless pressure washer. It runs on a 20 volt battery and uh, it's got a high and a low button on the back here where you can switch it from high to low. And this is not the kind of pressure washer you would use to do the siding of your house or your driveway or anything like that. This is for small jobs and it puts out about 340 PSI. Now what I'm hoping to get out of this today is um, uh, to be able to clean the bottom of that tent which uh, it stinks like if you've ever mucked out a horse's stall that's what it smells like and I'm hoping to be able to clean that. Now the nice thing about this is that you can run this down into a um, bucket of water with whatever mixture you want and today I'm going to be using a mixture of uh, some simple green and bleach and that's what we're going to use it for. So the nice thing is that you can spray whatever you want with it feeding it out of a out of a like a five gallon bucket and the other thing that I'm hoping to get out of this is accuracy because there's a, there's jobs that I would like to be able to do where I don't want to be spraying water all over the place but I sure could use a high pressure stream so we're going to try that too I got a job in mind for that for sure it comes with these two spray nozzles up here so you can have it whatever length you want it yeah, my trainer is uh, not sitting on a normal keel here or an even keel. Anyways, this can be long or short. It's got the uh, power adapter for charging the battery. I'm sure you could probably uh, manage to do this by getting a, hooking up to your cigarette lighter in your car with a cigarette lighter adapter. It comes with this short nozzle here with this quick release on the end because as well as having this one spray nozzle which is adjustable in the tip of this extension we'll see how that works it also comes with two other spray nozzles in this package here that snap into the end of this stubby this would be real short if you used it like that this is a filter that goes in the bottom of the that goes on the end of the hose this hose and this is the fitting that goes in the other end of the hose that attaches to the uh, power washer itself it does not come with decent instructions I can tell you that right now so if you do end up buying one of these then um, be sure and watch this video or others like it to show you how to do this one of the things that I had trouble with um, was when I first went to try putting these in 
They didn't seem like they fit, but what you need to do is push it in harder and then turn it. So I just wasn't pushing it in hard enough. It just didn't think feel like it wanted to go in there, but you got to really kind of shove it in and then and then turn it. Here's the stubby one that may show this better. Shove it in and then turn it. Quarter turn and that locks it in. Cuz you got to get past an o-ring here and the first time you do it when it's brand new, it was a little it was a little tough. So let me show you what this extension looks like. There's one. I'm going to have to get a different camera angle. Here's the other one. This is how I'm going to be using it this morning. Is long like this. Don't have enough room here. I'll show you this outside. This is for reaching. Or there's this stubby one which has different uh, nozzles that go on it. The nozzles, one is like a point you know, like a directed pencil with kind of a spray. And the other one's got like a 20 degree. There you can see the one, the red one's like really narrow. And this one's got like a 20 degree angle on it. So these go into the end like this. You just pull this, pull this back like that. And then it just goes right in like that. And you can rotate it around to where you want it. That would be really handy for getting in close tight spots. So we'll see how that one works. And once again, that's how it comes out. It's a 20 volt lithium battery. I'm anxious to try this out. I'm going to get busy. First thing I want to do is get this hose ready. Now it's kind of cold today, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Yeah, pushing this in is going to be hard, pushing that nozzle into the end of this hose. I'm going to use a little flame here just to warm this up. An easier way for you to do this at home would be to stick it in some hot water. just until it becomes pliable. When you do that, that makes that easy to push in. put the other end on it now this is the filter that goes on the bottom so yes there is some assembly required don't know what I came back to the Montana cold for could be down in the desert still where it's nice and warm oh yeah I remember I got granddaughters four of them <laughs> when I'm gone I miss them like crazy all right, let's put this on now. Okay, that'll do it. This is for a bigger hose up here. All right, so this part is ready to go. Now this simply fits on the bottom of the gun down here. What you do is you pull this back with your fingers like that, slide, slide this part back, and then slide it up and once again there's an o-ring on there and now that's connected and it goes in this goes into a bucket of whatever your solution is that you're spraying this hose is about 20 feet long a little stiff in the cold right now that's for sure there's a lock button on the side you got to push that with your thumb 
to be able to pull the trigger. Okay, pushing the button on the back is high and low while we wait for the liquid to get up here. Right now it's on low, and there's high. The low pressure is just for wetting things down. Okay, I need to adjust this. You can turn it and adjust the spray. Let's try it. So the spray can be really wide, really wide, or it can go down to a, pen, to a real thin spray like that. Looks like right about there is where I'm going to want it. Let's try it out. The whole thing is really dirty because of when we had to take it down during that rainstorm in Havasu. This is actually working pretty well. I don't think it's too bad. I think I think it's pretty good. My only other choices here would be down on my hands and knees with a a brush and a bucket. Well, I think it's doing really good actually. Uh, the battery is good for 45 minutes, and. Uh, I've almost used the bucket, the whole five gallon bucket. It was about seven eighths full. And I still got about an eighth of a bucket left. So I think it's done pretty darn good. I'm just gonna get a hose now and I'm just gonna rinse off this soapy water and call it good. Then I've got another job planned for this. When I was offered this, this power washer, Linda and I were camped down in the desert and uh, I thought of two things immediately. You know how I am about my engine, keeping my engine clean. Well, the first thing I thought about was doing touch-ups on my engine, which it needs now because it's all dusty. Now, I don't think this would do a serious job of cleaning heavy grease, but if you get your engine fairly clean, I think it'll really help to keep it clean, and I'm gonna use it on that today. But there, well, the main thing I thought about was this. Let me show you. I thought about these jams around the door and how filthy they get. Now I don't know about you, but when I normally clean these it's always with a bucket of water and a rag. And I hate that. I don't like doing that job. I put it off forever. Uh, you know what else I hate? Weeding gardens. When I was like eight years old, my mother would say, Ricky, we're going to go out and weed the strawberries. If she took her eyes off of me for even a second, that was the last she'd see of me that day. And if I was lucky, I'd manage to grab my fishing pole on the way out the door. Okay, we'll do the toughest one first. I can't use a hose up here because it would dump so much water in the back. I know I'm going to get some water in the back, but let's just see what happens.
Okay, this is how it came out. This is this is without wiping it down with any sort of a rag or anything. If I wiped it down with a with a, just a cloth, a dry rag, it would get all that that last scumminess off. Yeah, I think it worked pretty good. I still have the other doors to do. <laughs> okay, now in all honesty, it removed all the loose stuff, all the dust, the major part of the mess, but the scum was still left. You have to understand, I haven't done my door jams in a couple of years. So, remember I told you I hate doing it. Anyways, uh, so it left that scum on there, that same scum that you get at a car wash that just doesn't come off and needs to come off by hand. But all I needed to do was just take a dry uh, flannel cloth and just wipe down the door jams. Linda and I just did that. And they actually came out pretty nice. So I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't have to do any buckets of dripping water down my elbows or nothing like that. And it came out real clean. It's nice. Now, a professional detailer wouldn't go along with my job, I just did. But we actually only took total from start to finish, maybe 10 or 12 minutes, and that was it. Not too bad. Well, I got around to the engine too, before the battery died. Now, I was able to do the cleaning you saw in the tent, do all my door jams, and uh, get the engine rinsed down on one battery charge. It does have a button on the back that you can push and see the state of charge. And when I finally got to the end of the battery, it just automatically shut down. So that was good too. I'd have to say that it works good for small jobs. You're not going to get stains out of your concrete and stuff like that with it. But for the small cleaning good jobs like you saw, where you just don't feel like scrubbing with a brush and a rag and things like that, uh, I think it did really well. The thing I liked most about it was I was able to direct the spray. Now here's another thing that uh, my wife wants to try with it. Because you can direct the spray accurately, she thinks that uh, just by she can clean the screens from inside of the house without making a mess in the house because you can point it and then pull the trigger. Our screens don't come out. They used to, but these old uh, uh, vinyl frame screens, I've been in this house now for six years, whenever I've tried to remove one, it breaks the frame. So, but being able to just open the window and then spray the screen from the inside of the house, I think that's another uh, viable or another job that this, uh, this, this could handle. So don't expect it to do big jobs. Don't expect to pressure wash your driveway or get the paint off your house. It's not for that. It's for small cleaning jobs like you just see, like you just saw me do. I think it's all right. And it's uh, $99.99 on Amazon. I love the company. They're re they've been really good to work with. This is the second product that they've sent me. They're very nice. Uh, uh, and I, I think they, uh, they care about their product too. So the products have been uh, really good quality also.